Hey, this is Michael from michaelsaves.com and today I'm finally doing something about my Comcast bill. And what specifically I'm talking about is a $13 a month charge for equipment fees. Now, what does that $13 get me? Well, it gets me this Wi-Fi gateway that Comcast has. But you don't have to rent a gateway from Comcast for your modem and router. You can buy one from their list of approved devices, set it up yourself and save a lot of money. So what I did is I purchased this one from Motorola. This is a unit for less than $100. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and get started with your own router modem combo and save money every month on your internet bill. I've got my old gateway on the left, the new one on the right. So what I'm gonna do is just disconnect the old one Take the cable, connect it to the new device, add the power source, plug it in. I'm going to turn on the new Motorola device. It's going to take a few minutes to fire up. And while it does, I'm going to call customer service because I may have to wait a couple minutes to reach a representative and then I'll finish the setup process. Now, before I call Comcast, I have to gather a few pieces of information. The first thing is my account number and I have it on my bill. You can also see here at the top is the $13 equipment charge. That's what I'm doing this for to get rid of that monthly fee. And in addition to your account number, you need the make and model number for your new device. That's easy because it's printed right on the bottom, along with a Mac setting, which is the Mac address. And that's there as well. The customer service agent is probably going to ask you for that when you call. I'm going to call now and let you know how it turns out, how long it takes. And hopefully I'll be up and running in just a couple of minutes. All right, so I just got off the phone with customer service using the phone number that Motorola provides in its setup guide, and the process was pretty easy. It took me 12 minutes start to finish to get set up with my new router modem combo, and I had to provide the customer service agent all the information that I previously described, the make and model number, as well as the MAC address that's listed on the bottom of the gateway, and I also had to give her the serial number. Once I got all squared away with Comcast, I just went into my Wi-Fi settings, entered the network ID and the password, and I was connected to the internet in no time. No difference with the speeds, it's still pretty fast. And the last thing I need to do, I need to go to the Xfinity store and I need to give them my $13 a month rental because if you don't do that, you're gonna get you're gonna keep getting charged $13 a month, and that defeats the whole point of this process. So I hope you like this video. I'll have information in the description below with details on the router modem combo that I bought, and I'll have more information also on my blog, michaelsaves.com. Thanks for watching.